Hey, welcome to our show. Where are we today, Bryce? Got me. Hey, we're down here in Lake Shore. What a beautiful day. It's been raining last night and the last couple of days, but today it's a great day. We got a great, great guest today too. You know what? I think we'll bring our guest in right now. All right. Well, wait a minute. Is that your guest? Hello. This is my guest. Today. I'm Mr. Ed. Run. Mr. Ed? <laughs> no, not Mr. Ed, Bryce. Well, we're going to bring in the guy that's training Mr. Ed. Oh, all right. It's a former coach at Spanish Four Kai, oh. Mike Gardner. Hello, George. Welcome to our show, man. Or I should say goose. Yeah, there yes. you go. Welcome to our show. <laughs> hey, what's our topic today? Ah, uh, it's POA ponies, Pony of Americas. And how did you get into this POA stuff? Well, I kind of grew up on a farm, and we rode horses a little bit. And uh, then as my boys were growing up, my second son, Jordan, he didn't like the athletics as well as the other boys did, and we liked horses. So we started trail riding a lot and found these POA ponies, and it was about 15 years ago. And uh, he started riding one and showing one, and uh, then we bought us a little stallion and raised a bunch of babies every year. And my son Jordan trains them now and teaches lessons for kids. Okay, now what's the difference between a POA and a regular pony? Okay, a POA has to have uh, Appaloosa characteristics and coloring. It means that some of them will have a blanket with spots, some of them will just have spots. This is a white one and she's called a few spots. She just is plain white all over and they can only go up to 14 hands. They're kind of small ponies for uh, youth to ride. Now you say 14 hands, and on that other show over in Salem, you know, with the balding Bryce, yeah. that one horse was 17 and a half hands. <laughs> but now is that your hands, or is that your wife's hands? Well, that's about hands about four inches, they oh, think. Oh, okay. And that's the way I think they used to measure them uh, in the olden days, was just with a hand, before they had tape measures. And uh, so now 14 hands is about 56 inches. Okay. And uh, this mare here, she's about close to that. She's a pretty good sized mare. She's just under that height limit. So if one of your basketball players could jump, their vertical jump was 14 hands, would that be pretty good? That'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, what do you think of that? <laughs> Should huh? we try it? Yeah, should we try it? You, you want to try that goose and <laughs> jump right over that horse? Uh, that'd be something, <laughs> wouldn't it? All right, well, we're gonna go over, right over here now, closer to the yearlings, right? Okay. And what is a yearling? Yeah, it's about a year old. It's a baby that's a year old. And usually you start riding them when they're two years old, three year old. And so these yearlings we've been showing, my wife shows one and my son shows the other one. And uh, then we just kind of show them in lunge line and we show them in trail and then we show them in a halter class which is where they judge their conformation and how well they're built. Oh, we remember the term lunge, don't we? That's right. You bet. <laughs> Mike, I'm wondering, and the viewers are wondering, where'd you get these yearlings? Where'd you get these horses? Well, most of the ones I have right now, Goose, are horses and p uh, ponies that we raise. Uh, we have a little stallion called Zippin' Gold, and he's uh, been uh, raising foals with him for now for about 13 years. and. Uh, the foal on the left here is out of our Zippin' Gold Stallion. She's a foal sister to uh, the white mare, Nikki, that we had. Uh -huh. uh, we call this one Geneva. Geneva? Uh, yeah, my son Matt went on a mission to uh, Geneva, Geneva, Switzerland. Switzerland. All right. So uh, my wife, Shauna, wanted to call her Geneva after that mission. All right. And uh, she's been doing well. She's got two grand champions on her right now at a couple of shows. and. Uh, and the other yearling here is, uh, we call her Giselle. And, uh, now I'm okay to walk behind? Sure, Because sure. I've learned, I don't want to get kicked. Uh, she kicks and only hurt for a little while. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like basketball, uh -huh. and one of them four uh -huh. burns. Uh, and this one is out of another stallion that we raised called RY Major Equity. And uh, we sold him to a family in uh, Iowa. And, uh, but we had a couple of foals out of him, and this is one of the ones. And uh, my son Jordan is going to ride her the next couple of years as she gets older. And uh, See, now that was, uh, oh, see, I'm going to yeah. move right. I You're a little nervous. I'm a little I, nervous, man. I haven't seen you very nervous oh, before. Wow. <laughs> These are all bomb-proof kid ponies. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> now, I don't know if they're goose-proof, though. No, I don't know if they're goose-proof either, you know. 
<laughs> but they've really been a lot of fun for my kids. All my kids have rode them and shown them, and, and now they've gotten a little bit older and kind of aged out, and now I have some young grandkids that are coming along and showing them. Well, I know one guy in town that's going to really love this show. It's my uh, across-the-street neighbor, old Brent Jackson. He knows his horses, too. So, Brent, this show is going to be just for you, man, just for you. <laughs> Now, all if right. you get kicked, it's going to be for everyone. Oh. They'll, they'll all get I'm going to make sure we we'll put that on the instant replay uh, several times. Yes, indeed. We'll make sure we don't get kicked. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to go over to these couple of stalls here. And what are we going to see here, Mike? Uh, we've got a little baby down here. Maybe we got to go down and look at the little baby. Now, right? do you guys want to see a little baby? Okay, Bryce <laughs> says yes. Okay, we're going to go down and check out the little one. <laughs> What's the matter, Goose? She acts a little nervous here. Wow. I don't know about this tall brush. Well, you got to get out of the city a little bit, son. Wow, I'm just a, <laughs> no snakes down here? Well, I haven't noticed any. There might be one, though. I don't mind water snakes, but if they've got fangs... <laughs> you never know what you might find out down here in Lake Shore, I'll tell you, Goose. But I know she got the little one, and he's not too nervous. No, he's easy. He's got it. This is my son, uh, grandson, Jonas. Okay. And he rides these POAs, and he helps Grandpa clean stalls, don't you, buddy? All yeah. right, buddy. Well, we're going to slip <laughs> through the brush here. All Mike right. says there's no snakes, Bryce. Uh, well, if there is, we need a mongoose. A mongoose. <laughs> oh, I like that. A mongoose. You're always thinking, Goose. I know. Thought we were gonna see a baby here. Oh, yeah, at, he's out here having a siesta in this warm weather. Look oh, oh, down, down there. Look at this little yep. cutie. He's not yeah. dead, is he? No, no. Oh this, no, he's alive. This is a little filly. This is a little girl. All right. Okay, so a girl is called a filly. Uh huh. Maybe oh. I'll have to walk in there and get her up. What's a boy called? A colt. Oh, a colt. So we got the Philadelphia fillies. And the Indiana, Indianapolis Colts? Yep, that'll work. All right. <laughs> oh, it's up. Okay. The Philly is up. The Philly is up. <laughs> oh, and we've got one over there talking Hi, to. Baby. Yep. Baby. Stay here, Jonas. Stay here. Baby. <laughs> Her name's Annie. Annie. Yeah. Okay. Hey, can, I, can I get in the stall? Sure, if you're unless not scared. You're, unless you're, you're afraid scared? again. Uh, I'm not afraid. You got Jonas in there not being Jonas, afraid. Here, All right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. And here's the little filly. Yep, this little filly here is actually a full sister to the yearling Geneva. Oh. And the uh, white mare we had, Nikki. Okay. And uh, so they come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. And... Uh, they're really a lot of fun. And are there rewards for having the top horses? They do give out some trophies, some ribbons, and in some places they give out some money. And you can win some money at some of them. It just kind of depends on the show and what you have them entered in. So this is your new hobby once you're retired from a basketball? Yep, it is. <laughs> okay. Ain't that, a, ain't that a cute shot? That's a, that's, a, that's a cute shot, isn't it? baby. That's the baby. Hey, Jonas. Hey, we'd like to thank you, Jonas, for all your showness. Can you give me bones? Can you give me bones? Beautiful. I know, his little nosy. All right. Okay. All right. We're going to go over here to the arena now. And you've got one of what? One of your students? Uh, a girl that's a friend of ours riding one of our horses, and then we'll have a couple of grandkids ride a couple of them and kind of show them off a little bit. All right. Ooh, look at this, Bryce. Look at this shot. Is this a nice shot? We got the horse yeah. and we got the goose in this one shot, man. Yeah, the horse looks great. Okay. We're going to go to our first. <laughs> what do you mean the horse looks great? <laughs> wow. Well, I like it. He's always getting on me. Uh, I always got it. Yeah, you know, got to stay step ahead of you. All right. Hey, we're gonna take our first break, and we'll be right back, won't we, Mr. Ed? <laughs> oh, this is Mrs. Betty. Ed. That's Betty. Oh, this is Betty Ed. Yeah, okay. That's Betty. All right. Hello. Hello there. Hi. 
Welcome to our show. Well, thank and you. you're Brinkley who? Phillips. Phillips. And where are you from? I'm from Lehigh. Lehigh? Mm -hmm. We got a Lehigh ga gal on our show today, Bryce. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> No, but look, she can ride a horse, so she's all right. Yeah, I'm okay. See? All right. So, <laughs> what brings you out doing this hobby? Um, I've been doing it since I was like eight. I've been riding since I was four, and then showing POA since I was eight. So, just been in it for a while. And what is it? I mean, you could be just... skateboarding, <laughs> rollerblading, yeah. playing some softball. Yeah, but none of that is as cool as showing ponies. And what makes it cool? Mm, just all the people you meet and all the things you get to learn, I guess, along the way. Oh. Yeah. Have, you, have you ever been thrown off? Oh, yeah, more times than I could count. <laughs> and so the little lesson here to our viewers, especially our young viewers, if you get thrown off, what do you do? Get right back on. Get right back in the saddle. <laughs> I've got some uh, baseball players that when you strike out, what do you do? I don't know baseball. I couldn't tell you. Go try uh, again. She thinks, <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> go do it again. Go do it again. She wanted to say switch to horse riding. Yeah, oh, there we go. Switch <laughs> to horse <laughs> riding. <laughs> All right. So we want to get a couple of shots of you working here in the arena. All right. So the viewers can see your skills right. and what this is all about. Now, when you go, like Mike says, you're going to be going to Colorado mm -hmm. to show. Mm -hmm. Do you ride when you show? Yeah. There's lots of different classes. There's some where you're gonna like stand off your pony and just show your pony. And then there's some where you're gonna ride your pony like this. And then there's, you'll see later like English. We do English and jumping. And then we'll do like speed events like barrels and poles and stuff. So you just do like a bunch of different things. Okay, now what is, what is English? English, you'll see later. It's just oh. like not with no horn, a different saddle and just like quicker. It's just a different type of riding. Okay, so for our Hispanic viewers, do they have a Spanish? No. <laughs> no Spanish. Sorry, guys. Bryce, what's the Spanish word for sorry? Lo siento. Okay, lo siento. I was going to say to you, English is a foreign language already, though. <laughs> You're right. Okay, we're going to take a look at Brinkley in action right now. All right, shout out what you're doing so we'll know. All right. What do you think about that slow and easy, Bryce? Then That's my only me. speed. <laughs> okay. Now, what's she doing now? Uh, this is called what? Loping. You Loping. Want this to be just really slow too, okay. and relax. That looks like you down at the studio, Bryce. I just Loping. Lope. I just lope along. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you notice, Bryce, one of our shows out we're doing the hot rods we had a junk junkyard dog yeah well mike's got a junkyard dog uh oh oh i'm he, afraid of those guys he is mean well can you take a look at that junkyard dog where are we looking oh he's right over there look at him uh, you know we'll get a shot of him in a second okay he's running away i don't now, really know what else to do for you guys I, we missed that one goose was talking oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry well wow, thanks lo siento there you go. Oh, you you remember things uh, no. quickly. Oh, lo wow. siento. Quick study, Goose. So I didn't know what you just did. You stopped and turned around. What was that? Uh, just stop, and it's called a pivot. Pivot. Okay. And that's Ooh, just and how you turn around. That Ooh. sounds like when you're playing second base, that's right? When you're playing second base, you got to have the pivot. Yeah. Run the good pivot. So once again, we're just trotting. And you uh, want their head to be level with their body, just like down. And you have to teach them that. It doesn't just come naturally. Oh, it doesn't come automatically. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of like young kids, parents. Yeah. They don't learn discipline automatically, do they, Bryce? No, usually you got to get married before you learn as a husband to keep your head down. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Good tip, Bryce. Well, I keep my head down and I avoid some of the flack, you know. Well, like that one guy had been married 60-some-odd years. Yeah. And they asked him what his success was, and he says it's two words. 
Yes, dear. <laughs> so remember that, guys, if you want to have a long marriage, those two words, yes, dear. Otherwise, it'll just be longer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to show us the pivot. Boy, she's smooth. Oh, there it is. I don't know if I've so seen a second his baseman leg do it. Movement, like if I press this leg against him, he's gonna have to turn this way. And so you have to work on a lot of leg movement with your horses to get them to like respond to you. And it just is better and looks better to ride because you're not using your hands as much. Just like in baseball, you gotta have good footwork, Bryce. Good footwork. <laughs> Thanks, Brinkley. Yep, no Appreciate problem. you. Even if you're from Lehigh, we won't hold that against you, girl. I've, I've lived here, though. All right. Up there. Uh, that's what counts, doesn't it, Bryce? Yeah, as long as she's been here, she's all right. Beautiful. All right, we're going to go hook up with Mike again and see what's going on with him. All right, we're back here with Mike. Mike, who do we have here? Uh, this is my granddaughter, Rachel Young, and she's riding Amber. Amber. Yep, she's been taking some lessons from Jordan, and uh, she's been riding the last couple of years, and and uh, she's going to get on and ride English style. Oh, I like her get up. I like wow. her outfit. That's Look great. at that. That is high quality class. Now, when you go show, do they have to be in their garb? Uh huh. They have Western classes, where they'll wear Western clothes, and then they'll have Hunter classes, or where they'll wear, wear English clothes. You know, when you go play baseball, you got your baseball clothes on. When you go to a horse show, you want to have your horse show clothes on. Okay. What if you're on a goose show? Mm, you wear a goose outfit? <laughs> Very good. And we've seen some doozies. That's right. <laughs> and what's your horse's name? Kayla. Kayla? All right. Are they all girls' names, Mike? This is well, if they're a girl horse, they have a girl name. Oh, that's a dumb question, isn't it, Bryce? <laughs> well, I thought it was a pretty unique answer. Was that a dumb question? <laughs> if it's a girl, it ought to have a girl's name. Wow. You know? My bad. Oh, very many girls named Goose. Okay. Do you? <laughs> no, I don't. We wouldn't want to wish that on any girl. All right. We? So we're going to move over here, Bryce. Okay, Georgina. Georgina. Oops. <laughs> All right, we're going to go right on the arena. This is Jonas. He's riding Nikki. Nikki. Right? Boy, look at that. That horse is twice, well, maybe 20 times his size, Goose. And that goes to show you, Mike, you've had some good players over the years. They weren't very big that played the point guard, but they were tougher than nails. Oh, yeah, had some great ones. Same thing with me. Some of, some of my best players have been on the tiny side. Is that right? Oh, but they were all heart. They kind of walked a little bit like this, Bryce. You know why? Big hearts. Big <laughs> hearts. Weighs them down. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yep. But it shows to go. It's not the size of the horse in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the horse. All right. I thought it was a dog. That is not a well, dog. I guess in this show, it's a horse. In this show, it's a pony. <laughs> oh, these are ponies, right? Okay. Right, it's ponies, not horses. Uh, you've talked with Brinkley a little bit. Right. And now we have Ines riding Kayla. Yes. And Rachel, she's riding uh, Amber. Now, are they going to do any different moves than Brinkley did? Uh. On the English, they're a little bit different. I need to fix Rachel's stirrups here for a little bit. They're a little bit too high. Okay. Ghost, can I trust you to hold this horse there? Okay, I'll... Well, I'll... Rachel, let's stop a minute. Let me... Okay. I think he wants you to hold it from the back side. Oh, no. Step around not... back there and hold no, that. No, we're not going to hold it from the back side. Right. What do you think, Jonas? Yeah, I know. That's what looked like. Do you like being on the horses? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of like what I asked Bryce if he likes being at the studio. Bryce kind of goes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, Bryce? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this beats the studio. Oh, you. yeah. Getting out in the water. Doesn't it, Mike? Goose. Okay, oh, Couldn't yeah. Be Does this beat the, the gymnasium with oh, all the wind? the sun shining? Well, oh. <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing like a close basketball game, though, Goose. Ooh, right. right down to the wire. Ooh. Crowd yelling, screaming. That's pretty good stuff. Oh, or we're in the bottom of the seventh. Oh, yeah. Bases loaded. Oh, this Two outs. 
three, two count on you, okay. and we're down to run. Hold huh? Closer. Yeah. Oh, do you want to be at the plate? <laughs> I want. Uh, I probably want one of my brothers to be at the oh, plate. Oh, one of your brothers. Okay. Oh, and I they think can they flat can, out play, they man. They can play and they can hit. You know, I can run a little bit, but I had to cheat more than they yeah, did. Okay. <laughs> Old Steve, yeah. Best friends. We grew up and played together. Uh, Mucci played fast pitch for 18 years together with him. I've seen a lot of great shortstops, but nobody played shortstop better than Larry Mucci uh -huh. Gardner. Nobody. Mucci. Yep. What was in the water where you guys grew up? You got a goose, Mucci. Oh, everybody's got a nickname. Oh, you got to find out what Mike back says. Then, yep. And if you didn't have a nickname, Fantastic. what? You were nobody? Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, yeah. So I want to know here on live TV if we can get the nickname out of Mike. What Mike. was his? <laughs> Mike, have we got one? Drum roll. Uh, what'd they call you? Drum roll. I had one that they called me a long time ago. They called me Crazy Legs. Oh, that's Crazy right. Legs. Give us a demonstration. Because when I would run, they would go all over the place. But when I got them straight, they would go pretty fast. All right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. We've got uh, Inas riding right here. She's got her pony in a little jog, a little slow jog. And then we're going to have Rachel get hers in a little trot and do what they call posting. Okay. In English, they post at the trot. Okay, see how she comes up out of her saddle a little bit? Oh, you know, wow. The toes, sweetheart. Uh -oh. That's like your guys running the ladders. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was thinking more like that, when he was doing driver's goal. ed. Oh, the driver's <laughs> ed, yeah. And we've got Brinkley working our zip and gold stallion there. Uh, she's done really well on him. She was a high point rider in a show in Idaho last year. And uh, she's doing really well this year. She's going to ride him in Colorado in two weeks. Very good. Now you notice that uh, the one uh, Brinkley's on, she said about the, the horse keeping his head down. Yeah. Look at his head down. Yeah. Like, like he's cowering. Yeah. Is that what you do at home, Bryce? It is. You cower to your wife? If I know what's good for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Mike? Do you uh, cower to your wife? There are occasions, yes. Uh, we all need to do that, don't we? That's Absolutely. right. Yes, dear. <laughs> right? Keep peace in the family. That's yeah. what you do. Huh? That's right. Okay, we're back, guys, and guess what? I'd like to get on one of them steeds. I don't know if you can ride one, Goose. Why is that? Well, these saddles these little girls are riding on here are short. They got little short stirrups on here. And now I don't... Goose! Goose! Oh, Where'd no. Where'd he go? Oh, he did it to me again, Mike. <laughs> Unbelievable. That guy's always got somewhere to go. I guess. Thing is, I really don't want to chase him. What should we do? <laughs> Every time I go off on a wild goose chase, I end up wearing myself out looking for him. I'd you imagine don't... you'll find him. Wherever there's a ball game, you'll find him. I got an idea. I heard earlier that you got a bloodhound. Oh, we have a ferocious dog. Will he, will he uh, hunt down goose for us? Oh, I'll tell you what. She will hunt him down and rip him apart. All right. That's the plan. Let's find that bloodhound. We'll let right. him do the work. Her do the work. All right. Oh, there's the bloodhound. Where's goose? Whoa, there he is. Ha! Get him. Hey, you know how we close our show. Hey, have a great day. Look at this, Bryce. Your armpits? Look. No. Oh. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Wow. Come here, Naya. Hey, have a great day, and it's a dandy today. And remember, we love you. We truly do. We like to thank Mike. There he is. Gardeners. And his grandkids. Yep, for being on our show today. Bye-bye, Ruthie. <laughs> hey, we'll catch you later on our next show. We got some dandies planned for you. Catch you later. Come here. Come. Go.